Downtown San Francisco workers and residents brace for APEC security measures SAN Francisco, with the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation, APEC, conference looming, San Francisco residents and workers are bracing for changes to their daily routines. Time equals 400 ms, greater than Glenn Cunningham is an architect who typically commutes to work on his motorcycle. He is preparing to adapt due to the extensive security measures taking effect in the city. Probably, to park close enough so it's a short walk, I will use my GPS to see the traffic patterns, explained Cunningham. Time equals 400 ms, greater than SFMTA APEC Info. APEC Travel and Transit Info, Interactive Map, Knob Hill Impacts, SOMA impacts a joint operation between the Secret Service and the San Francisco Police Department is implementing security protocols in specific areas. Time equals 400 ms, greater than beginning on Monday, November 13 at 10 p.m., the Nob Hill area near the Fairmont Hotel will be under heightened security, including concrete barricades and thorough security sweeps until the early morning hours of Tuesday, November 14. These measures will persist until Saturday, November 18, as revealed by Assistant. Special Agent of the Secret Service Jeremy Brown at an APEC Security Press event Wednesday. Also read. What to know about APEC-related San Francisco street closures and transit impacts? We have worked tirelessly together, with SFPD, to come up with a plan that would minimize the impact to the public as a result of the security at this event, said Brown. Security expert and former FBI agent Jeff Harp shed light on the extensive control anticipated within the designated areas you're going to see a much larger crowd than we see right now. We're inside the sterile area, which will be access controlled. There will be security checkpoints to come in and out. All this area will be sealed off and they'll be monitoring who comes in and out very closely, Harp explained. Residents residing within the green zone will still have access to their homes. Those in the red zone, however, can only enter on foot. They will also undergo thorough screening particularly if they are attending the conference or visiting establishments within the secured area. Additionally, ride-sharing services and food deliveries will be rerouted to special pickup, drop-off areas located a block outside the security zone. The popular waterfront area of the Embarcadero will witness additional restrictions on Wednesday, November 15, with closures between piers 9 and 23 until midnight, according to Assistant Special Agent Jeremy Brown. Chief Bill Scott of the San Francisco Police Department emphasized the city's commitment to peaceful protests while sternly warning against any acts of violence or property destruction during the conference.